Claude is not just being used to write code anymore. People are using it to preview emails, schedule meetings, and even book flights all in the terminal thanks to a tool called Claude Canvas, created by the CEO of Glide Apps to turn Claude Code into his own personal assistant. But how exactly does this work? And is this the future of AI terminal coding agents? Hit subscribe and let's find out. It all started when David posted a tweet saying, what if Claude had an external display, followed by this amazing demo that got an overwhelmingly positive response from developers and even the founder of Claude Code himself. The whole thing is open source and is installed as a Claude plugin, but for now it needs to be run in a TMUX session. There are ways to get around this, which I'll explain later on in the video. From here, we can give it a prompt, like write an email from me, rich at gmail.com, to a friend, ben at gmail.com, telling them I'm looking forward to meeting them for lunch with a subject of excited for lunch. Preview it using Canvas Spawn. And once we hit enter, Claude goes to work and it wrote the email, but didn't put it in a split pane, which happens sometimes. So let's give it another prompt. And now we can see a preview of the email inside Claude with from, to, and a subject with a perfectly formatted email. Now, if I had the Gmail MCP server installed and had it connected to my account, I'm sure some of these details like from and to would be automatically filled in but I had to manually add them in the prompt for demonstration purposes. Let's try another example. I've written this prompt that says, book me a flight from London to Barcelona and spawn a preview with the Canvas plugin. Now let's hit enter and let Claude go to work. And look at that, it's propped the preview up first time. I'm going to zoom out so you can see it better. And here we go, here are the flights I can choose. One at the top for $145, another one here for 89, and I can select using arrow keys, which changes the seat map down here. There's also a route over here, with flight info showing departure and arrival times. Now, if I press tab, I should be able to go to the seat selection and press spacebar to choose a seat. How cool is that? Again, this data isn't hooked up to an MCP server or an external API. Claude is actually making this information up, but you can see the potential here. Fred, the creator of Astro, even mentioned how cool it would be if Claude Canvas could generate UI on the fly based on the user's prompt, which would be insane. But first, let's talk about why Canvas needs to use Tmux in the first place. The way it works is after it gets a prompt from the user, it triggers one of currently three skills, flight, document, and calendar. So for example, Claude will run the flight skill if a user asks to book me a flight. From here, it uses bun to run this CLI TypeScript file and passes in the relevant arguments. Spawn here is used to spawn a new Tmux split pane, and it renders the UI using ink, the same React library used to create Claude code. Check out this video to learn all about it. But this is where things get interesting, because the split Tmux pane can communicate back to Claude code and vice versa using a process called inter-process communication. So if a user picks a flight and seat in the split pane, Claude can get that information. But Tmux isn't the only option. In fact, David originally started to use native Ghosty, but used Tmux because it was easier. And there's also a fork from a user that uses native iTerm and Apple terminal panes. All this is very cool, but is it the future of AI terminal coding assistants to turn them into our own personal assistants? Don't get me wrong, I use the terminal for almost everything. Writing scripts for this video, writing code, managing my files, and even ordering coffee. Okay, the last part was a joke. I don't drink coffee. But although I can see myself scheduling a meeting or previewing an email in the terminal, there's no way I'm going to use it to book a flight. I'm sure I'll make a lot of mistakes. But I do think this is the future. Sharing personal details like emails, messages, and calendars with an AI agent makes so much sense, especially as developers, since we're so used to controlling our machines with natural language, it makes sense to use it to control our personal lives as well. But here's something that could arguably help your personal life is by hitting the subscribe button and getting more of this awesome content sent straight to you, but it will also help us get one step closer to hitting 100k subscribers, which would be amazing. So go ahead and hit that button.